right, West Goody. Dude, doom. It's your boy, Drew. We're back with some more dough. We're gonna have a little video where I'm talking about what summon for and, and really what you should be looking for in Dokkan battle. Nah, obviously, the B roll that I'm using doesn't really show the summon menu. Guys, if you played like, you know, like, um, and you can you can obviously scroll and look at look at um, all the characters. Whatever, but there's a lot of things worth noting when it comes to um. Dokkan. And one of the main things is like, you know, are kind of well, Hello Point LR. Which one should you really be summoning for? And if you should summon this character or that character? Uh, I think Global. So, I'm not going to talk about shape. How it's right. You know the shape banner right now. Dokkan's Sail is really, really good. Her clues kind of suck. But she's really good. Um, I know that the Dokkan Damsa is really good. However, the Dokkan Damsa banner is not good. So, that's one thing. First thing you should do is when you're on that page, you know, click the little button, the little scouter, and you scroll through the banner. Like, for example, for this banner, there is one, two, three, five, six, seven units. Uh, or no, no, there's only there's only technically one Dokkan exclusive, feature, but there are seven pullable SSRs that are considered. Um, which honestly, that's probably one of the better odds you're gonna get. You rarely see five uh, units. Uh, main thing you should be looking for is like maybe two or three featured LR or two featured LRs, and more than more than one LR. Uh, things like that. Anytime it has ten featured, if all if, if at least half the featured are not good, sometimes I'll pull on it. Which that's the thing you should be looking at. If you like the characters that are in the banner, go for it. But there are some characters. So, for example, there's no gunfish. Yamcha is really good. Uh, Yahadrobi is really good. Resurrection is an F. And Booze is not. Um, the Blue Trunk is also not good. Ginyu is incredible. Like, Ginyu is incredible with the team. And his team is not on the banner. He's not going to be any good. He's kind of not terrible. I'll just have to go to the But yeah, you can go for it. I would only go for it if you're able to dominate, to be honest. Um, it's just, it's just not a good thing. Now, there are good times to pull. Attention. I'm not talking about it. Uh, for Dokkan, uh, for example, uh, pulling during anniversary or worldwide celebration. Really good. Um 90% of the time most of the time the best odds of the best character of the character. And, and all the manners have a lot of good characters. Especially the part two banner. Usually the part two and the two banner have like all of the LR put up on the banner. So it's like you look at the banner and best Based on the character you need to do so. Whatever, whatever quotes your book. Like, for example, if there is a final form combo on either one of the banners, I'm going to try to get it. No one. Um, I'm not sure. I, I haven't. I have One, but I, I'll look at some point and then it'll hype me up but that's the thing 
Um, like for example, if you pulled during New Year's in What did they do? LR, Ultimate Gohan. Those banners are great to pull on, but to be honest, I've always had bad luck. Every year I've never been able to pull on banners. Um, so I would recommend pulling on those banners, depending on the character, but be weary. Those banners are kind of rough a lot of the time. And the other banners that are kind of rough are sort of the banners. Um, I would most certainly tell you watch part of the banners. Uh, make sure they have a lot of good characters. It's going to take a handful of them to get the actual characters. I promise, speaking from experience, I tried to get part of, I, I spent too many stones on Karma Goku to get part of the LR. I don't remember. And then I spent too many coin uh dragon on the blue Goku and Vita from Cooler movie. And then I couldn't get the metal cooler. Both of those bummed me out to know it. I wanted both of them. But obviously another thing I want to mention, never get your post of getting both characters. Uh, for example, seventh anniversary, I spent a lot of dragon. I think I spent almost a thousand, and I got one copy of the LR God, and everything off of that banner, but the original um, duo, but no GT. I didn't get GT duo until I came back, I think, I think not, not, the, not the first time it came I think it came So the GT duo was kind of new, was kind of new for me. Um, so, don't really worry about not doing character. They do tend to come back a lot. Um, especially on... Or they usually come back relatively close to the time that they pop. Uh, especially like, I guess, what's the word for it? Tenabata? Uh, the Tenabata LR this year was Kung Fu And I didn't pull them in their main number. I did pull them. No, I did. I pulled one on the main deck. And then half fan fan I pulled one. So if I hadn't, I pulled it was literally like the last hour. Um so if I wouldn't have pulled it then, I would have pulled it or I would have bought it before. And pulled it on sand. So it's just a little thing like that. So really look at that. Specifically, um, I would look at the banner, see if the banner's good, and then I would look at the character, the character you like, and it's a well-designed character, sorry about it, so that it, no confess was not it, but, um, do both of those things, and then, you know, have snow people, which I never recommend pulling singles, like this, like, to be honest. Um, so if you have the stones to pull them, and the character is something you would like, and the banner isn't absolutely horrid, like has at least a couple of good characters on it, you wouldn't mind pulling, then all mean, I pull. That is when you pull. You don't pull when you read online that this Goku is amazing. He's the best Goku in the entire game. And you don't even like those but you can't pull them because you try to get red. I don't recommend doing that because then you get mad because you get shafted and because you didn't really want to care. I pers personally speaking, I don't get mad when I get shafted if I absolutely want to care. Um, I only get mad when I get shafted if I didn't. Like for example, when I was pulling for Gamma Two, I didn't want Gamma. I knew they were good, but I was pulling because it was good. It made me kind of upset to get them. But, for example, when I was pulling for Piccolo, I just tried to play games. I spent, like, over 500 pounds on getting Orange Piccolo. I didn't get him. 
and I was like, okay, cool. I'll give him. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's just my opinion. That I was bummed, but I'm not really. You know, I, that that, that could be me weird, but I guess, I guess, I just started. But um, to be honest, that's really all I have when it comes to like a spending. I I don't want to spend any stones on spam. Absolutely. Um, my philosophy is spending stones on spam. You should be able to make up to the next single off of this and so um it's a risky number because there is a little bit of it. Uh, now it's an absurd amount like, I, I guarantee you if I start it over on the like, anniversary I can put it out quest stages all the story stages, doing strikes, strike missions, even doing plane battles are, are good. I have not searched for good dragon. I know they would be good to burn ammo. Just little things like that. Uh, it's, it's worth it's worth noting, but I don't think we need to apps. So it's like, unless, to be honest, less like that god or even the anniversary LR. 90% of the anniversary LR is different all of the time. So you should probably pull on the anniversary banner. I would recommend pulling on the anniversary and saving some that's, that's how I usually do it. I usually don't go out of my way to pull on banners. I absolutely like the anniversary time comes in. I'm dropping about a thousand. I'm currently right now grinding to get to a thousand stones just in case a banner drops that I want. Um, and then I then I I'll, I'll save the anniversary. But from here on out, I'm gonna be giving you guys uh, talks of whether or not I'm pulling on a banner or not. I'm personally not pulling on the Amcha banner. With that being said, I'm out. Peace out.